Okay lads, uh, Carl here from the Dublin Academy of Education. First of all, I'd like you to welcome you to the Easter Revision courses that we're doing online. Uh, obviously, there's loads going on at the moment, but it's important that you as Leaving Cert students, you just assume that the Leaving Cert is going ahead in two months time, and for you, you're just trying to do as much work as you possibly can. The good news for you is that I'm here to help you over the next five sessions. So we're going to give you 75 minutes content in each session, and ultimately what we're trying to do is we're just trying to prepare you for that exam. We're getting, we're getting you prepared and ready and giving you the confidence that you need in order to excel in paper one and paper two. But you, obviously you know yourself, at this stage you have to put a huge amount of work in yourself. But I'm here to give you a lot of content that is going to come up in June and really what I need to stress is it's the same type of content that comes up again and again and again. So when we're going through questions, I'll be telling you, look, you need to know how to do this question and this is how you're going to do it in June. And ultimately that does then give you the confidence for you to go in and do the best that you possibly can in June. Okay, so 75 minute sessions over the next five sessions and it's just gonna be exam based content is doing as many questions as we possibly can. And as I said, getting you ready for that exam in two months time. So that's really, really, really important. So listen to the content, listen to the information that I'm giving you. What you have received so far is you've received six, six sets of notes. So the one that we are going to be working on is this Easter Revision course 2020. That's ultimately your Bible. You need this over the next eight weeks and the information that's contained in here is really going to give you the information that you need when you go into that exam in June, okay? So it's really, really important and that's the one that we're gonna work on over the five sessions. Now, you've also received five sets of other notes and in those notes, you've got your strand one, two, three, four, five. And ultimately, each of those areas, you can use that as a standalone study tool. Go have a look at the questions on that. Go look at the syllabus content. But ultimately, again, go to the end of each round, and at the end of each round, there is a load, a load, a load, a load of exam questions, and at the back of that then is the marking schemes and the actual solutions, and have a look at them and compare those two to each other. Ultimately, if you can do the question, you won't actually need the solution and the marking scheme, but the solution and the marking scheme are there in case you do actually need them, okay? So, as I said, what we're going to do over the next five sessions is we're going to try to do as many exam questions as we possibly can, and we're going to prepare you as best we can for the exam in June. With that in mind, and this is the one that we're going to keep using, okay, so this is the one that you're going to use with me, it's the Easter Revision Course 2020, Paper 1 and Paper 2. Now, the areas that are examinable on Paper 1, you can see on page 2 there, we've got complex numbers and algebra, and that's what we are going to do today. We're going to go through loads of complex number questions and loads of algebra questions, and trust me, the questions that we go through today, they will be the same as the questions that come up in June, right? They are going to be very, very, very similar. We tend to have no major differences, no discrepancies there. Ultimately, the questions that we do now will be like the questions that come up in June. So that's what we're going to have a look at today. The patterns and sequences, number systems, and financial maths. What I'm going to ask you to do is I'm going to ask you to go through some of those questions yourself. I will touch on them later on in some of the sessions. I will talk you through some of them. But ultimately, what I wanted to do was I wanted to have like a complete package of all questions that can come up in, in both paper one and paper two, and that's what you'll use that for. So even though we don't use, or we don't look at every single question, ultimately, you could go through this handout and look at every question and try to do as many of them as you possibly can. I will be helping you with most of them, but some of them you will have to do yourself. Then in session two, what we'll do is, is we'll have a look at uh, functions and calculus, really, really important. Now, the calculus is important there because we should know at this stage that within the exam, within paper one and paper two, there are two sections. The first section that we have in the exam is our concept and skills. And in that concepts and skills, you have six questions. And of those six questions, each of those questions are 25, 25 marks. And that is your bread and butter, right? So it's your basic solving equations, basic questions. The second section of the exam is our context and applications. And what you're doing there is, is you're applying your mathematical knowledge to real life examples. So in that second section that we have in the exam on paper one, you are going to feature, our functions and calculus is going to feature heavily on those questions. And when we come to our second se session, right, session number two, we will have a look at a lot of those questions that are based on the second section of paper one and that contain the functions and the graphs, right? So, so uh, functions, graphs, and calculus. So we need to spend a lot of time having a look at them. So that's paper one. Paper two then, we've got the line and circle, and we'll have a look at that in session three. We've got trigonometry, which we'll have a look at in session four. We've got area and volume, probability and statistics, which we will look at in session five. And then finally, the last area we have is geometry. So as I said, and I'm just gonna reiterate this, even though we won't go through every single question, and we may not get to every single, every single type of question, 
I'm asking you to go and try to do these questions yourself as well. Because ultimately, as I said, we've both got to work together and you've got to put the work in as well in order to do as best as you can in June, okay? So that's paper one and paper two. Will you now please turn over and have a look at paper three? I'm sorry, at page three. And in page three, I basically do a rundown of paper one, okay? So, paper one, two and a half hour exam, 150 minutes. It will take place on the afternoon of the first Friday of the examination. So that is Friday the 5th of June. So Friday the 5th of June 2020, from 2 o'clock to half 4, that's when you're going to go in and do your paper 1. And it covers material from strand 3, 4 and 5. And as I said, you're getting a copy of those strands uh, with the set of notes that I'm going through now. So you can use that as a standalone study tool. You can use that yourself. You can study that on your own. Paper 1 covers strand 3, 4, and 5, as I said, and the topics included in these strands are, so strand 3, we've got number systems, we've scientific notation, patterns and sequences, arithmetic, financial maths and indices, and that financial maths we'll have a look at later on in, in another session, that's basically a formula that f is equal to p1 plus i to the power t, so that's really important that we look at that. Strand 4 then, which is basically what we're doing in session 1, so we have our algebra, we have equations, we have inequalities, and we have complex numbers. And then strand five, which is what we're going to do in session two, we've got graphs of functions, we've got linear, quadratic, and cubic functions, we've got calculus, we've got max and min questions, which is really important. I will be stressing that in session two and session three. The same type of questions will come up in our calculus. Even though it seems different, the approach and the method and the strategy that we use will be exactly the same. And then finally, we're going to apply differentiation to different real-life questions, which is what I talked about when we look at the second section in paper one, the context and applications, okay? So that is the rundown of paper one. We'll also have a rundown of paper two when we get to session three. But I think at this stage, you know, you're thinking all the time, the exam, the exam, the exam. What comes up in the exam? What type of questions come up in the exam? What do I need to do in order to do well in the exam? Okay, so as I said, what we are going to do today is is we're going to have a look at these two areas, we're going to have a look at complex numbers, and we're going to have, have a look at algebra. So these questions, 100% are going to feature on paper one on the 5th of June. They're most likely going to be a 25 mark question. It's most likely going to be a concept and skills question. However, it could come up in the context and applications. We need to know complex numbers because I can guarantee you you're going to get a question on that. And we need to know algebra because I guarantee you're going to get at least one short question on it, maybe two, but we can also apply algebraic knowledge to so many areas of paper one and paper two. You know, we're constantly creating equations, and what do we do with those equations? We go and solve them. So we need to know our algebra really, really, really well, okay? I cannot stress that enough. So, I suppose the objective for this session is, is we want to make sure that no matter what type of complex number question comes up, and no matter what type of algebra question comes up, we are comfortable doing any of those questions. Okay? Lovely. So let's start off with complex numbers. And in terms of complex numbers, I'll just give it, before we get into the actual exam questions, 